Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. Still here at the New York Auto Show. I really don't want to leave because we had to stop at the Lexus booth because there were some things glimmering underneath the show lights and it's definitely one of these. What the heck is this? This is a 2024 Lexus LC500 convertible, but this is a new special bespoke edition. But before we get into this LC500 that you could actually personalize like no other vehicle before it, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, it's the premium brand of Toyota. They've been around since 1989. We all know that. And if you didn't, now you know. What Lexus has stuck to their guns to and kind of held closely to their heart is the V8 naturally aspirated engine where a lot of competitors are going to these smaller displacement, multi-turbochargers, electric superchargers, and everything else. When it comes to the LC500, you're gonna get that pure, just perfect growl of the V8 exhaust coming out the back. Now, with the LC500, the design has been timeless. It's been around since 2018, if you could believe that, and it's never been refreshed or redesigned. So what they decided to do was add the ability to bring personalization never seen on a Lexus vehicle before with this bespoke edition. So why don't we go ahead, let's find out, is this worth the price? If you wanna have something that's like a one of one, unique just for you, is the bespoke edition LC5. 500 the way to go let's go ahead let's dive into ours and find out right off the bat this color it is a stunning satin pearlescent white absolutely amazing it is not a wrap it is a real deal paint job what's great about the bespoke edition is that it opens up the doors to nine colors that are very unique to the program and this is one of them now at the front of the business you're going to see that triple LED beam headlight design, just like it's been since 2018. This is how good they got the style because it still looks fresh here at the New York Auto Show. I like the way you have this metallic, dark, dark gray finish. You'll notice the addition of the vortex generators or canards, the dive planes on the corner here to help with the airflow and to give us a little bit extra downforce. You're also getting ginormous functional air intakes on both sides for aerodynamics and for cooling as well. The signature Lexus daytime running lamp fits so well, even though this is the older style, because if you think about it, on the newer Lexus vehicles, everything is integrated into the headlight housing. Because this has gone unchanged since 2018, you still have that older separated style, but like I said, this is really a timeless design. As we kind of crawl on our knees across the front of that classic spindle grill design, so you have that waterfall effect, all the different points turn into that crisscross pattern on the lower end. Of course, we're gonna have a forward-facing camera, the mighty Lexus badge, and then I love the way they integrated the lower splitter into the front fascia and some dark chrome around the perimeter of that spindle grill. Now, as we rise up with the bespoke edition, look at that beautiful paint. It's got a nice metallic to it, but this is a satin finish. One of those things that when you go this route, this is what's gonna stand out. Now, when we come around the bend, you're actually gonna have three different wheel options. And this is gonna be one of those choices. I think it would be my choice. I'm really liking the way this one is spec. So you're gonna have this split spoke forged aluminum wheel with that gloss black Brembo six piston caliper. Our tires are performance oriented Michelin Pilot Sport 5S tires. Gonna give you some nice grip, some nice stick. You'll see those massive over 15 inch rotors there. Large rotors and of course they're two piece to help cut down on heat buildup. Now, the actual wheel size is 21 inches in diameter. So nice to see the option of three different wheels. Let me know if you're liking this flat black with the satin white. I think it's really working. And of course, with the six piston 
Brembo caliper is going to give you that nice braking capability and you have the adaptive suspension all four corners. Now coming down the side, it's the Coke bottle shape of this vehicle. The way the fenders flow nicely, no fake vents, nothing like that stuck on the side, no badging. You do have gloss black on the mirror caps. And I think another th thing that helps with the style is they're only painting body color on the A-pillar, not on the whole windshield frame. And I think that that is a smart decision. I feel like if this was all white, it would just be too much. That's where the Lexus designers have found that balance. Now coming towards the rear, you do have that functional rear venting. And I love, I love the way that side skirt extends out from the side of the vehicle. Like I said, very seductive, very aggressive. All at the same time, you do have flush mounted door handles. They've been like that since 2018. And then you see where the side skirt comes into the vent? That's the, the Coke bottle effect, because as we work towards our rear, that's where we see the, flender, the fenders flare out. Now, let me show you on the rear wheels, you are going to get Brembo's all four corners. There's a lot of performance cars where you don't get that. 21-inch wheel all the way around. On the rear, it's 275 on the width, and this is a 35-series sidewall. You do have a limited slip diff to help you get the power to the ground. And then coming around back, just like we started, smooth, sleek, classy, and seductive all together. The taillights, full LED. Those are your turn signals. I like the way they do the black chrome effect. You have your LC 500 badge. 500 represents what we have underneath the hood. And working our way down, you do have your functional exhaust on both sides with the decorative trim ring. And it's nice to see what I would have liked to have seen a little bit more is four exhaust pipes, like to have quad exhaust instead of just the trim rings. Let me know how you feel about that. When it comes to the actual engine underneath the hood, it's a five liter, naturally aspirated V8, putting out 472 horsepower, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in this convertible, you're looking around 4.1 seconds. Yes. 4.1 seconds and a symphony of V8 burbles that are just fantastic. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and show what's special about this bespoke edition. All right guys, we're inside this 2024 Lexus LC500 bespoke edition. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, why should I even consider this car? I could just go get a C8 Corvette. Well, guess what? That's great, but there's just something very unique and special about this vehicle, especially the fact that it's gone unchanged since 2018. Now, if you're willing to make that choice, you're definitely going to stand out from the rest of the crowd because if you go to a local cars and coffee event, you're not going to see many LC 500s. You're going to see a sea of C8 Corvettes though. This one, the way that it's spec, you're looking at an MSRP with it being a bespoke edition, $121,000. Let's see what you're getting when you go special to the door panels. I love the premium leather feature. So you actually have this darker blue, which on paper shouldn't work, but it's really working with our white exterior. This is another choice. The materials, the colors for the interior, you have a plethora to choose from. Love the metal work, the fine detail to the stitching, even the way they do the door handle. These are things that have been around since the beginning on this vehicle and have gone unchanged. And you have a nice size door pocket there for two Italian subs that you get right from downtown Brooklyn. Now going from the door panel to the dash, love the way they have all the great stitch work, the silver aluminum finishes. And then as you slide in, this is one of the changes that's happened over the years is an actual touchscreen infotainment system. Before, you would have to use that stupid trackpad that was terrible. This is all full touchscreen, nice, fast reacting. You could control your AC, heated seats, ventilated seats, dual climate control. If you don't want to touch the screen, that's okay. You still have those metal toggle switches for the AC controls, the start stop button. I'm glad they got rid of the CD player. That just really dated the vehicle. Let me know how you feel about that. I love the inspiration badge here. This is one of 125. Nice to see that. 
open that up. You got a cup holder. I am going to zonk it because it's kind of out of, it's right in the way of everything. And I'm not letting you drink in my LC500. This is going to control the 10 speed automatic transmission. Normally there's a shift knob here. They take those off at the auto shows because people have sticky fingers. One of the best volume and tuning knobs you'll ever find in the industry right here. The action on it, super smooth and crisp. That's for your heated seats and heated steering wheel. You got a nice little palm rest. You could extend it back, put some Jolly Ranchers, or what you could do is you could go all the way and open it just on my side. Let's see if it can't open it on your side, so on the passenger side. That's a zonk, but you do have enough room in there, and there's USB-Cs, USB-A, a 12 volt, and enough room for your iPhone 68, which is that bespoke premium white platinum edition that matches this car. Seats, the blue leather, I'm, I'm feeling inspired. The stitching, the bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. And then of course, with the convertible top down, it's interesting because this car was first introduced as a coupe, but boy, oh boy, it really makes sense that it's a convertible as well. And you do have rear seats, not somewhere that I wanna spend time, but it is possible. It is humanly possible if you fold yourself like a slice of New York style pizza. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I got a blue steering wheel. I wanna show you, come on over. Hi guys, boy oh boy, I wanna go on throttle on this thing with the V8 sound and the top down. Look at the real deal carbon fiber with the Lexus LC Inspiration Series. That's that bespoke edition, but they're calling it Inspiration because they want you to feel inspired. Pedal box. Aluminum brake pedal, throttle, and look at that aluminum dead pedal. Just like their IMSA WeatherTech GTD race car, blue floor mats and carpet, and then you have all your seat controls. Look at the way they bring leather actually on the side of the seat where the controls are. Feel fantastic. You do have three memory seat settings, so if you're lucky enough to have two friends that you trust enough, they could drive your LC500 and have their own memory seat setting. I'm six feet tall, and the way that they designed this is that the air just goes right over your head. It does not create a lot of buffeting like some other vehicles do. Steering wheel, the blue leather, perforated on the sides, smooth top and bottom. Love the flat gray and all the switch gear. And then you do have metal, not plastic, metal paddles on the back of the, ten on the, back of the steering wheel for that 10-speed automatic. And it is, of course, a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that seven inch digital gauge cluster in there, which does move all by the flip of a button. Look at that, the whole bezel and everything. Really cool to see that still being used because the new Lexus vehicles have full digital displays that don't do that anymore. But I know, I know what you're saying, Joe. I wanna hear the V8. I wanna hear the rumble. I wanna see you go on throttle, trust me. So do I, but we have to catch a plane and get home to sunny Florida. So we got to wrap it up from New York. Let's get to it. All right, guys, it's been an invigorating time, an inspired time here at the New York Auto Show, especially with this 2024 Lexus LC500 Inspiration Series. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna go this route, spend the extra cash and have it really personalized for you or are you gonna be like everybody else and go get a C8 Corvette convertible? Let me know down in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way, I'll hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we need to thank LG Rady, working that camera like the championship that she is. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.